Hello everyone, this is a quick video where I want to address all the issues I personally had with my full body tracking setup and maybe one of the two fixes or some fixes that I did can help you as well. So let's start off. First, you hear it in every video that regards tracking issues and full body tracking issues, cover up reflective surfaces. If you have a window in your room or a mirror, make sure to put something over it and then you won't have tracking issues because of interference with that or reflective surfaces. Second, dongle placement. Make sure that your dongles are placed flat on top of a surface. Not tilted or something, it should be flat. If you have Tundra dongles, they should be facing with the logo upwards. Sometimes I forget to place my dongles properly and they're just kind of lying around somewhere. And I immediately notice a lot of drift and tracking issues, so really make sure that they're placed flat on the surface. Also make sure that they're not on top of each other right away. You don't need a huge space between them, but make sure that there's a couple of centimeters between them, and then you should not have issues that they're interfering with each other. One more thing, you should probably try to keep them a little bit further away from your power supply of your computer. Maybe don't place them on top of your computer, because that can also cause some interference, uh, which could cause tracking issues. Third, USB issues, my personal enemy. Um, if you always have the very same tracker seemingly randomly drifting away, even though it is in clear sight of a base station, you have all dongles placed properly, all reflective surfaces covered, then it's likely an issue with your USB bandwidth. This is Especially a problem the more trackers you have. If you only have three trackers, it might be fine. I have even more with elbows as well. So that causes even more issues. The more trackers you have, the more USB bandwidth issues you might have. How do I check that? So there is a tool called USB View. I put the download link in the description as well, uh, where you can see what USB controllers you have in your PC setup. So on my main board, I have two USB controllers and you can also see one external card, which I'll get to later. And if you have issues, you should definitely try placing your dongles around on different USB slots. Try spacing them around on the controllers that you have, so that maybe two trackers are on this controller and two trackers are on the other controller, so that each one has about the same data. If you have two, it might not be that they're equally powerful. For example, on my mainboard, I noticed that one can handle four or five trackers without too many issues, and the other one already struggles with two or three. So really make sure to just play around and see if any of that helps. If you think that your issue is related to USB bandwidth, but you've tried every combination and nothing works, uh, you can buy a PCI USB extension card, which I did. I bought this one. Um, I also put the link in the description, and so far it works pretty well, don't really have any issues with it, and that's really good. Okay, further troubleshooting and very specific issues. I had a lot of those. So it is possible that one of your trackers doesn't go well with one of your dongles, but in any other combination it might work fine. So how can you check which tracker is connected to which dongle? And how do you specifically say this tracker should be connected to this dongle and not that one? So the easiest way to see which tracker is connected to what dongle is just unplug the dongle, see which tracker goes from green to blue, and then you know what is paired to what. If you want to specifically pair one tracker to one dongle, I'd recommend you to go to this path in the Steam VR apps. There's a tool called LighthouseConsole.exe. You need to launch that as administrator and there type unpair all. What this will do is it deletes all the connections from your dongles to your trackers and everything will be reset. There will be no connections at all. After you've done that, you can launch SteamVR, only plug one single dongle in, turn one tracker on, pair it, and then you know that this dongle and this tracker are paired together. Plug in another dongle, turn on another tracker, pair them and that's how you can specifically decide which tracker is paired to what dongle. Personally, I use all of this uh, so that I have my hip tracker paired to one dongle that has its very own USB controller and that has a very good position uh, because I really don't want my yip to just 
my hip, my hip to just yeet away, which is very disruptive. So I want that to be very, very stable. So this is the way how you can do that. And one more very specific issue that I had is when I had my Tundra trackers on the elbow, like one, two, and the index controllers in my hand paired to the very same Tundra dongle that can hold four trackers, I had issues when they're on the same height level. It felt like when it was sending here index controller, Tundra dongle, uh, Tundra tracker, Tundra dongle, and the same path was interfering. I don't know if that makes sense, but it felt like that to me. As soon as I paired them to different dongles, so Tundra tracker, Tundra tracker going to this dongle, index controller, index controller going to that dongle over there, the issue was gone, and yeah, happy end. <laughs> Good. If you have any other big brain ideas, knowledge about tracking issues, uh, feel free to post them in the comments below. Uh, there's likely 5 billion other things you can try. I just really recommend you to mess around with USB stuff because that has been my main issue. Um, I hope I could help you. Maybe you can recommend this to somebody else who has tracking issues. And I hope you all have a good day. Bye bye.